Good morning guys, we are in Atlanta, Georgia. We just got our fuel. I think I got enough to get us out without it costing really anything. We'll find out here in a minute. But we got to go next door to the Blue Beacon. We got to get a washout. And then we're picking up a load 11 miles from here. That is going to Hattiesburg, Mississippi for tomorrow afternoon, 1300, which is one o'clock in the afternoon. We took a 34 hour break here. It was nice. We met up with uh, Matt yesterday, little guy. That was cool. I thought it was anyway. Spent the better part of the day yesterday with him. out here they may not be real busy neither If you go straight, see, the petrol is just over there. Kind of nice if they would change that, put this in with the petrol, and that way you can include that. 900 feet, turn right on Donaldly Hollow Parkway, US 278. So you can include that with the uh, cost getting out, right? Going in? Right. All right. Than late. 
there. That's what I meant to say. Sometimes I trip over my own tongue. I think everybody does to a point, right? This guy may want over here. Don't want to stop him. I guess he ain't going to want to be over here. In 600 feet, take the entrance to the left on I-285 South.
people love to steal and if they can get away with it by doggy they'll try it that is why I am so careful telling you folks where I'm actually located and it's not that you guys are going to come and steal from me but it is on the internet right so somebody randomly can be watching and say oh look he's got this and this and this all we got to do is follow him eventually he's going to leave that truck and we're just going to go in there and break in and steal everything and by the way let's steal jake and panda while we're at it too i know people get mad whenever i don't tell them where i'm actually located but there's a reason behind that and that is being careful your mouth can really shoot your ship down real quick if you uh if you're not careful that's why i'm careful i mean if you're a professional truck driver and if you're watching my videos you can pause the video when you see a sign or a mile marker or something you can you can figure out where i'm at but somebody that doesn't have enough brain to figure that out well maybe the guy that would probably steal from me if he could so that's why i don't just that's why i just don't come right out and tell you guys where i'm at where i'm located but you know most of the time when i film today it's up tomorrow i mean sometimes i get a little behind but it ain't much behind and if i'm taking a 34 hour break well you know i'm gonna be there for 34 hours nah I just kind of keep that little secret. If you guys figure it out, you guys are smart. If you can't, well, I don't know what to tell you. I know I got friends that are YouTubers. I tell them, man, be careful what you show on, on, on that camera. Because, you know, eventually you're going to get out and take a shower. Eventually, you're going to be out of that truck. And if you're going to be out of that truck for an hour, that gives anybody time to do what they want to do. Hell, they could break into your truck, ramsack it before you even come out, before you even know what happened, you know? I mean, unless you got a camera that is inside your truck, actually showing inside your truck, and they don't know where that camera is, you might catch that individual, but then again, you may not if nobody knows who that person is, right? Yeah, I'm really careful about that. Really careful about that. Well, here's our exit, exit 44. We were just over here, not the same place where we delivered but we were just over here Friday before I took my 34 hour break in the same town over here.
just turn Ponda on. Ponda's got the actual business on there. Ronda may have it, but just to be on the safe side. In half a mile, turn right onto Douglas Hills Road. Hey, they're on the same page so far. In a quarter mile, turn right on Douglas Hills Road. That might be this right up here. Turn right onto Douglas Hills Road. It is. In a quarter mile, turn left. We're going to 747. Approaching destination in a quarter mile, on the right side. Side, run it out. This lineage is 737. We're going to 747. Turn left. Turn left. Yep, 747. All Pepsi Cola. Or Quaker Oats. In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. Destination on the right side. I gotta show you guys something. This guy is not paying attention. Now, this is the difference between a rookie and a non rookie. See, he's fixing to put his trailer up on the grass curb and probably on that hillside because he didn't turn out white enough. See, he didn't come with the cones. You'll see here in a minute. <laughs> he was on. He was on the grass. You gotta come way out here so you can miss that curve. But anyway, I'm gonna go in to this guard shack and check in, okay guys? I'll be right back. Alright, door 36 is what I was told. Which is right here. Right here. I'm 
gonna leave my low lock back there in case they want to use them or if they don't I will so we'll leave them back there so they can get to them now we got to back into the hole into the dock we got to drop our wagon and pull in front pull in front of it Back into that hole. Anybody else want to come <coughs> on my blind side there? tight here I mean it's doable but it is kind of tight here I had to pull up so my doors wouldn't hit that trailer yeah see just like that I followed the trailer with the line and it don't take much turn it really don't some drivers think they need to really turn that thing to get it where it's got to go he barely turned that trailer in a turn see i'm turning the trailer like if i was steering the trailer with the steering wheel see just gotta go with the line and then once you get your trailer inside that line then look at your drives try to get your drives over there by that line now i'm steering the the drive like I'm steering the steering wheel if really in all reality if you do it right you should never have to do a pull up you can't get in a big hurry when you're backing up I'll show you what I mean when I get out see we're straight we never had to do a pull up well we did a pull up up there a little bit because I didn't want my trailer to hit this trailer or my doors to hit this trailer next to me all right Oops. pull down let's jump out we got to drop our wagon there right, you guys set let daddy drop the wagon Yeah, we did good. All right, let's disconnect. Just like that truck did over there. I don't know how long it's going to take them to load us, but my appointment's not until 12, right? It's only after 11. to worry about my trailer being too high on this one because I have control of the landing gear and it could be a heavy load so I'm gonna make sure I'm a couple inches off the ground and use my airbags to lower it down all right just like that 
Now I'm gonna bring my airbags down. See, it's loose. It's not really touching the ground. That way when I'm loaded and I get up underneath it, it'll pick it up. And all the weight won't be on the landing gear. Make it easy to dolly it up, right? Watch out! Let it go down. Pull up. It didn't slam on the ground, nothing like that. All right, we'll be loaded here soon, guys. We'll be right back. Loaded. He can't release me though because I gotta back her up a little bit. Let's go out there. Hook up some hoses. We weren't here that long. there even <laughs> I still gotta jack it up just a little bit that's how much that load squashed it down a little so he can release me then we'll go shut our doors watch out well, I backed it up Waiting for the light to turn green. Come on guys, flip the switch. There he goes, okay. I'm gonna pull up. I don't know if I can shut that door. I don't know if there's enough distance. Let's go back there and see. Be kind of nice. Be back, guys. Be back. Not, there's not enough room. I gotta pull all the way out. Believe that? All 
right, they didn't use my load bars. Probably don't have to, but he's loaded me over the 48 foot. So them axles are gonna have to come back this way some. Don't it look like the whole load is kind of leaning that way? It does, don't it? I got three load bars back here now. Only. I thought I only brought two. Looks like this whole load is kind of going. Somehow I ended up with three low bars. Well, we'll go ahead and they're gonna put one. That'll work. And we'll put the other two back on the back of my just in case it might be a dropping hook. On the other end. If it is, then I won't have to mess with trying to get my low bar back, at least one. We're gonna have to scoot the axles up. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's okay. We're gonna pull it all the way out though to shut the doors. damage yeah that one's damaged that's a new low bar too oh we bent it back hopefully that'll work then shut them doors though for sure that dock would have been wide enough all right now we can shut them doors I think we got our weights right too. It's not over 34 in my truck neither. That's cool. Alright, be back guys. We gotta go check the doors now. Said the seal was in the back. You know, I didn't even bother looking. Right there, the cable seal. All right, that's why I didn't see it. It camouflaged itself.
like pulling it all the way up. I want to give myself room so I can cut it, right? All right, we got to go up there and see the uh, the people at the guardhouse. That's where my bills are. Alrighty. Let the yard dog go by. He's in a hurry. He going to a fire. <laughs> Right back. 